With millions of people all over the world, we are sure you want to be informed with happenings in states, countries, and the world at large. At Lightcast TV, we bring you details of news, entertainment, politics, human and good stories, and crime. We also engage business owners who talk to us about their business. Perhaps you want to go into such business. What are the things you need to know? We also bring you life of party from traditional engagement, weddings, housewarming, birthday parties, and many more. Keep a date with all the happenings on Lightcast TV by subscribing to our channel. Many thanks for watching. Toke Mankewa, who is formerly married to Maji Angie, a professional fitness coach and mental health advocate, has indicated that she is ready to give marriage another shot. In an interview with Ali Vanguard, Mankewa said, I am hoping to get married again. I love love. I love being in an healthy relationship and I do not think we are designed to be by ourselves. I know it will happen and I can't wait to meet the lucky chap. Asked her her greatest strength or weakness, she said, I can be very hand strong. It is my biggest strength. I I don't accept defeat and I'm pretty determined. Unfortunately, it is also my weakness. I can be very unforgiving and very hard headed too. Takuma Kiwa also talked about the greatest misconception about her that she would like to set straight. People think they know me, they see TM and they think they know who Toke is. The heroine she stated. She also revealed who and what inspired her most in life and why. Here are my mother inspired me so much. When people hear me talk of my parents, they are a bit confused because my birth parents died when I was eight years old. But I had parents who raised my sibling and I just like girls. They did everything they could. And that selfless heart leaves me humble all the time. I never lack anything. My mother is so strong. Love hasn't always been kind to her. She has lost so much, but that's how she managed to create a beautiful life. Leaves me inspired. Takema Kiwa has always encouraged women to be financially independent and keep breaking glass ceilings. That they don't need any man to validate them. Does that make her a feminist? Definitely, she said, adding, I am a feminist. I believe in equality. We have come so far and the movement has made a genetic impact, but we constantly are labeled as main bashers and main haters. When the movement is so much, who is society? You and I. And we cannot continue to blame society for injustice against women. We must effectively empower women not to be better than men, not to take the men's place, but to also feel included in jobs, on friends, and social issues too. I think that gender was made specifically for a reason. Men are women, and women are women. Women are not trying to be men. Women are just trying to have the same level of equality in terms of same opportunities at workplaces. There's all same opportunity to earn just as much as the men do. But so long in the past, women have been neglected to being only homemakers. We are only asking for a little bit of inclusiveness in certain areas. I don't think there is any woman that wakes up in the morning and wants to be a man. We like being soft, feminine, and how power is it the fact that we are women. So any man who is threatened by a woman is more of him than of the woman. So I don't think there is anything woman can do to make man more comfortable. Men should feel threatened. We are made defender for a reason. And we just want to be included in the most amplified conversations that involve moving forward and growth. Women definitely have a huge part to play in sustaining society the way it is today. Just give us our quotas and let's work together. Big Brother Ninja level up housemates Fena and Amaka are currently had swell over their interest in male husbands Groovy. Following the eviction of Beauty, Groovy love interest Fena, Amaka, and Ilebaye had been battling for his art and attention. Amaka, who had plans to make Groovy and Beauty relationship, was undoubtedly excited when the reality star got disqualified from the show. Since Beauty exit, Amaka had tried all means to get Groovy's attention. As a best friend, Amaka had opened about her feelings to Fina and told her to trend with caution. Last night, Fina angered Amaka as she slept on the same bed with Groovy. Amaka, who felt betrayed, refused to talk to her. She opened up to Ilebaya about her feelings and the letter told her not to allow Groovy to come in between them. Fina, in a conversation with Groovy, stated that she doesn't want to talk with Amaka about sleeping on the same bed with Groovy because she is embarrassed on her behalf. She also revealed to him that Amaka liked him. However, Groovy stated that they were all friends as he didn't have any feelings for any. Amaka also spent his time in Lori's Groovy, where she revealed that Fina liked him. Groovy stated that if he liked Fina, he won't have talked to her. Baby Ninja Season 7 housemates Shakes and Bella have been captured once again, having a romantic session. In the video we have cited, Bella was dancing to entertain Shakes, and during the process, she was seen twerking for Shakes, and from the look of things, he was overly enjoying it.
For the past three weeks, the Saturday night party has always had dramas, breakfast, and several highlights. As housemates try to navigate their feelings towards each other, they can't help but clash as they fight for love. Since his love interest views to leave the house, Grover has struggled to decide which lady to stick with. With Amaka, Fina, Chomzi, and Ilebaya at his back and call, Grover is undoubtedly the man of the season. The last night Saturday party came with relationship drama as housemates try to form a ship. Grover was the center of attention as ladies in the house had eyes on him. Chisha and Ilebaya got into brawl, when the lighter got jealous of her dancing with Grover. According to Chichi, Grover asked her for a dance and she agreed. While they were dancing, Ilebaya came and pushed her away. This didn't sit well with Chichi, who asked Grover to and blasted Ilebaya. Chichi told Grover to find courage and address issues immediately. She said, you are a man. Sometimes you need to be a man. Address the issue immediately. After the party, Grover and Fina is the good person since Beauty left the house. At another intimate moment, the two were seen passionately kissing in the presence of other housemates. This kiss will no doubt cause enmity between her and her best friend Amaka, who had interest in Groovy. This has caused a stare online as many questions what the lady saw in Groovy. The intense drama between the housemates of Big Brother and Justice is seven level love has heightened as different kinds of ships, such as relationships, friendships, and all that are trying to take a stand in the house. Big Brother Nigeria level up season was paced with twists, involving housemates trying to partner with a bull or bay. A video that is making runs online is a reunion between female level up housemates, Amaka and Fainia, who had been at loggerheads over a male housemate's groovy. Groovy and Beauty were an item in the Big Brother house before the latter was disqualified for a misconduct in their house after she had earned three strikes from Biggie. Following Beauty disqualification, Beauty urged Fainia to act as an intermediary between her and Groovy, which the latter kicked off a relationship with him. Fainia's actions had caused a huge difference between them as they fought over petty issues in the house. A video that found its way online captured Amaka trying to settle the dispute between herself and her former bestie Fainia. Amaka was captured soothing Fainia with words that made herself faulty about their fight. She believed Fainia deserved Groovy because she dared to walk up to him and declared her intentions. A few days ago, Fina and Amaka were involved in a heated argument that nearly escalated into a nasty fight. According to Fina, the argument was stirred by Amaka, who claimed she wanted to access into the minds of other level up housemates. Fina revealed that she got scared and made it known to her partner, and that was impossible to get into the minds of the housemates. She got harried by Amaka constant talks, stating she is manipulative because she thinks that her thoughts seem weird and manipulative. Of Big Brother and Ninja level up housemates, Fina, have already lost an interest in her. The reality is that who has been the star leader following beauty disqualification lost her friends over a recent streams for at stores and male housemates. The reality is that has been sacked as a man user and desperado since Groovy Love Interest Beauty left the house. Fina has glued herself to him, sharing the same bed to working themselves at party, using bed snips and sharing several kisses and intimate moments. Fina is first drowning in love. Fina and Groovy all accept a victory on Sunday, August 14, celebrated the night with a left up moment. Her friends who held her in high esteem are beloved disappointment over her recent actions as it seems that she is forcing herself on him. To make matters worse, Groovy doesn't seem to reciprocate her feelings as she is divided about his feelings for beauty and chumsy. Expressing displeasure, fans took to the comment sections to drag her. <laughs>